So you are on the market searching for a smart door or window sensor kit and I have here one that when you come closer you'll be able to see that it turns off the light on the back and also send you some information to your phone. What is my thoughts about this product from Merrill's the smart door or window sensor kit to your Apple Home, Apple Home kit? If you want to know everything about it stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack and if you love tech and if you love discounts this is the place for you because everything that I bring to you guys have links on the description below where you can purchase these products but with a more affordable price and in that way you'll be helping the channel to continue to bring other products and also to grow. And today we are going to talk about another product from Meros and is this small device that as I showed to you guys on the introduction is going to turn on turn off lights and also is going to send you a message to your phone to let you know if your door is open, your window is open or is closed. And definitely something in these days that is quite quite important if you care about safety, about the security of your home. And if you don't know, all the products from Meros they are matter compatible, so in other words in the future that's the way that you are going to connect all your devices to any platform that you are using. At my choice I prefer to connect to Apple Home because obviously I have a lot of products from Apple and I'm using my iPad as my hub to control all of this. Obviously if you are using HomePod or obviously if you are using your Apple TV it's better than your iPad because if for any reason your iPad is out of battery it's not going to allow you to use the automations to control your devices. And opposite of all the products that I brought from Meros, this one you'll need a hub that is like this. This is the small hub from Meros that you'll be able to connect wherever is the place where you want to put it. And in that way, you'll be able to obviously set it up. In this case, this small sensor that works really, really well. One of the first questions that you can have is about how quick it is to turn on and turn off. And in this case, if I come closer, one, two, and these two seconds and now if I open one two basically you have two seconds to turn on and turn off the lights is not as fast as obviously if you are wearing your phone and another thing that you can think about it is if it's not completely aligned is it going to turn off and yes as you can see it was not aligned whatsoever and obviously if you open is going to turn on once again. To set it up, this is very, very simple. You just have to connect your hub. It's going to blink a light on the front and if it's not doing it, you just have to press it for about five seconds. The light will become orange and after when you release the finger, it's going to start blinking between orange and green. If it's saying that it's not connecting, just unplug it, wait for 10 seconds and plug again. When you go to your Apple Home, it's very very simple. You go into the menu, you are going to obviously add this one when you press on the plus and after when you just set it up, your hub is not going to appear in the middle of all your devices. If you press on the three dots on the corner and you go to home settings, it's going to show you which hubs are connected and obviously in my case it's going to appear my iPad and this bridge and when you press on the bridge it's going to show you the accessories. So in other words, even if you go back into your settings you are going to see also the sensors they are connected to your Apple Home and if you press in there it's not going to allow you to change the names of your sensors and all those stuff. So if you need to do that with mirrors products or any sensors you need to go to your bridge and from that point you are going to add it and do all the settings, all the automations that you want with your device. Besides that, inside the box you are going to get obviously these small stickers that you are going to obviously glue to your sensors and put it on your door. But why you want to buy a sensor for your door? What is really the benefits of this product? And I can give you multiple reasons to do that. One of them is, for example, imagine you have a house that you have someone that is going to clean your house, but you want to know when they enter and when they leave. And that's a way that you can control. Or if you want to really know when your kids they arrive home or your wife arrive home, that's a way also to do it. Or if you just forget a window open, you will receive a message on your phone to let you know that that window was open. Or if for any reason someone tried to enter in your house and you are not expecting, you receive also a message on your phone to let you know that your door or your window 
is being open at that specific time and if it's been closed obviously and that's really one of the features that I want with this but with automations and when we talk about automations of this product you can connect as many products that you want so at my living room I'm going to connect this light that you see here I'm going to connect the top lights on my living room the light under my table my dining table and also the television and so on so the objective is when I leave the living room I can just close the door and it's going to turn off all of this for me so that's one of the features and one of the obviously flexibilities that you have with this device when we talk about build constructions we already know how much I love these products if you don't have seen other products I definitely recommend you to see the power strip that I brought to you guys from Meros it's simply amazing the build construction is really good if you want to set up this one and also that's really important you have obviously this little tool that you normally use to open and to remove the sim card of your phone but you are going to press two times on the small hole that you see on the top and it's going to start blinking when this one blinks and you want to turn it on and to connect to your hub you just have to press two times and it starts synchronizing to try to find a new sensor that you are trying to connect to your hub if you connect your hub but is not connecting to this remember to do that and if you have to anytime open this to change the battery you just have to put this and it opens automatically and it's very very easy to change your battery if you need it also another thing that you can ask to yourself is is it possible to work when your internet is down yes it works when your internet is down like every single product from Meros something that I really like that also allows that this device that can work much faster than others another thing that you want maybe is to export this data yes you can do an export of every single time that your door or your window been open and closed and at which times so definitely a plus something that I really like about this app another thing that you can ask to yourself is it possible to connect to other platforms like Alexa smart things and obviously Google assistant yes you can do with this one no matter what if you are at your house and you have someone that have another device that is not Apple compatible definitely you'll be able to connect also this device to their phone if you need a plug to connect your hub no problem at all it comes provided with one but the one that comes is not compatible with the plugs here in the UK so just to point it out also if you are into LEDs and you want to put some LEDs behind your TV and they will change no matter what happens to the television and they'll be able to match I'm going to bring one of the most immersive experience that I had until today in my house and that one will be the LYTMI 2.1 so it's compatible with HDMI 2.1 so this one is their new product and also their bars but it's not perfect and we'll talk about that in another video but just to let you know if you are into these type of things definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel and at the end of the day do I recommend this product from Meros and I have to say to you guys that yes I can recommend because I have multiple products from them and the fact that is Apple compatible and Meros compatible that's something that I really like and that's something that I really want in my house for the future so in that way when you are purchasing this product or any products from them is basically future proof so you are not concerned that in the future the product that you just purchase and you invest your money is not compatible anymore no matter is the platform that you want to use my name is Marco this is Matt Peck if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one